transformative growth hub comes in picture for business owners who want to take their business paths smoothly and easily. The entrepreneurs, they start with an idea and uh, they don't have a support system as such. So uh, from the technology point of view, we use artificial intelligence quite a lot. Business Not is all about connection and trust correct, between correct. each other. We, we actually take the cli client from a uh, you know fixed mindset to a growth mindset. In actually recognizing a pain point is one of the crucial correct, thing correct, in correct, business. Correct. So we come to this earth with a very unique life purpose. Mm -hmm. Gratitude is one of the uh, subconscious mind techniques. Today on Mic Drop, we are honored to welcome an extraordinary leader who has been transforming lives and businesses worldwide, Mr. Srikant TV. As an engineering director with over 25 years of experience in top MNCs like Birla, AT&T, IBM and Motorola, Srikant has consistently driven innovation, delivered complex projects and led high-performing teams to success. But his impact does not stop there. As the founder of the Transformative Business Growth Hub and the Care and Share Foundation, Srikant has devoted himself for empowering entrepreneurs globally. His groundbreaking projects integrate profound techniques of mindset shifting, hypnotic marketing and subconscious selling techniques helping business owners to achieve rapid and sustainable growth in just 90 days. As award-winning author of the Amazon bestsellers Rise Up To Your Purpose and she is the fearless founder, Srikanth is on a mission to empower 1 lakh entrepreneurs with a special focus on women entrepreneurs to unlock their full potential, align their business with their life purpose and create a legacy of success. Inspired by his father's legacy of service and respect, Srikant's vision is bold. To help entrepreneurs break barriers, redefine success and thrive with passion and purpose. It's a true privilege to have him here today to share his journey, his expertise and his unwavering commitment to changing lives. Hi sir, welcome to my drop. It's a pleasure. How are you doing sir? I am doing really great. Mm -hmm. How are you, Maika? Good, sir. Good. Sir, being an IT professional, what made you choose this path of uh, training entrepreneurs globally, sir? Okay. So, uh, to give a background of this, you know, I have been working in IT for the last uh, 28 plus years, actually. And I have been working with uh, uh, a lot of people around me, correct? I have been coaching people. I have been hiring people, mm -hmm. coaching people, building them, developing them, you know, making them productive. I've been doing that all years and I've, I've seen how corporate world works and uh, I had the opportunity to, uh, you know, uh, develop a lot of people actually, uh, you know, my team. You know, I still uh, continue that and I, uh, you know, I have a team of around 150 plus with me even now. So, uh, why entrepreneurs? is because, you know, in corporate world, what happens is that we have a lot of support system, right? Okay, uh, so. We have the people manager to talk to, we have the HR around. Different you know, segments for each all department. The, yeah, all the supporting all. system is there. And they have a lot of colleagues to talk to each other, right? Okay. When there is a challenge, mm. correct? But in case of entrepreneurship, right? Entrepreneurs, they start with an idea and uh, they don't have a support system as such. Correct. So I was thinking to extend my, uh, you know, support towards that, you know, because uh, like you introduced myself, me mm. as uh, initially, um, you know, I always wanted to empower people. Mm. So this is one area where I thought uh, my skills, my experience can be extended to. And, uh, you know, empowering uh, entrepreneurs is something which I think I, I can do a good job, right? So For people to see business owners, they tell business owners are, is very easy. But being a business owner or an entrepreneur is something very challenging, as you told. Exactly. Right, a proper right, guidance right. is right. much important. Right. For see, the normally what happens is that they start with a business idea, Correct. you know, which they think, okay, it will work. Mm -hmm. Or they would, they would have seen somebody uh, doing that business very nicely and Correct. they want to uh, copy that idea. Or uh, sometimes they feel that, okay, they have a skill, okay, let us start a business. You know, sometimes what happens, after some time, they'll get stuck, Correct, uh, you know, Correct. and they feel that it's not growing mm. as they, uh, you know, was dreaming about, right? Correct. And uh, they, at that point of time, they wanted some kind of support, uh, some mm. mentor, some guidance, mm. right? This is what, you know, I was uh, trying to give, actually. This okay. is what exactly I wanted to, uh, you know, get into and mm. support them with the mindset as well as, you know, uh, from the business, what we can uh, help them to grow. 
yes, can you share more about your uh, transformative business growth hub and care and share foundation sir yes no for this exactly as mm. i explained here right mm. uh, this is exactly we uh, you know uh, came up with this uh, initiative basically transformative growth hub comes in picture for business owners who want to take their business paths smoothly and easily right yes that's true so care and share foundation was something formed by uh, some of our like minded people you know okay. uh, to help out people uh, to be a catalyst to uh, you know empower uh, entrepreneurs around and you know that is the vision we had okay uh, and um, then i have this uh, transformative business growth hub under that mm. uh, you know and uh, we do this coaching you know of the entrepreneurs especially women entrepreneurs you know okay. around the world so that's our mission we have a big mission to help uh, one lakh entrepreneurs yeah. around the world to yeah. you know uh, mm -hmm. to be empowered like you know using this transformative business growth technique like you know we work on subconscious mind techniques mm -hmm. and also uh, we get into their business uh, you know see the important verticals of marketing and sales, sales. so these are the things which we uh, you know help them mm -hmm. and we use a lot of technology like artificial intelligence is the most emerging technology yeah. right we use the strategies to help them basically right now in the market it's all about ai right 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 yes, yes, so yes. it gives a lot of insight mm. to help them at that level uh, so that's how we are uh, you know trying to help them okay okay yes. what's your inspiration to start this sir being an it professional yes. suddenly into entrepreneurship you being an entrepreneur training entrepreneurs globally there should be an inspiration behind yeah, this you know it is also you know yes. you need a lot of creativity correct yes. inside yes. you there's a lot of creativity you're yes. working you have a lot of experience you see uh, the pain points of the people around right correct and i so entrepreneurs are something which mm. doesn't have a support system as such i told you earlier yes um so uh, it was something you know i really want to uh, focus and you know see mm -hmm. how my experience my skills mm -hmm. can be used there mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah another reason for me to get into this uh, coaching and empowering entrepreneurs is uh, you know definitely inspiration for my dad because dad used to be a complete social person he used to uh, help people around him uh, a lot of people comes to him for uh, support like you know whether it is a uh, Uh, marriage or whether it is a home construction whether mm. it is uh, something else you know people reach out to him for help and he is always there you know mm. uh, so he is very willing to help people is like that okay so i can see over the period of time i can see a lot of people you know the love he is getting the kind of respect he is getting from society back i think that is something inspiring for me also so uh, the point is um, i thought you know i also want to do the similar thing i want to empower people around me being a milestone in uh, somebody else life is something a very special feeling right very true sir. so very i true. think that's something uh, which is connecting to my life purpose as well so i i am really inspired because of that and also i got a lot of support from my family as well it is important you know my mom or uh, my wife anupama you know my uh, two wonderful kids uh, so they are all uh, you know with me supporting me uh, motivating me you know Yeah there's yeah. a lot of time yes. required for this yes. and I need a lot of support from my family as well Very you know true. they also kind of you know give me a lot of uh, motivation support on this so which is a blessing so to make our podcast more interesting yes. i would uh, ask you to choose few segments so according sure. to segments let's discuss about uh, sure. transformative growth hubs sure so. definitely so please choose a segment okay <laughs> yes 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 sir you can read it out Right. Trendy or tricky? Okay, sir. Yes. We will be discussing about latest trends and tricks. In your transformative business coaching, sir, what are the trendy methods used for uh, business owners for to boost their growth, to generate revenue, sales, or marketing? Right, right, right. so we use uh, you know like a uh, wisdom as well as you know technology okay, okay. this is important for uh, mm. you know business growth mm. so uh, from the technology point of view we use artificial intelligence quite a lot you know uh, basically clients right clients comes with a pain point they okay. have something to solve right and that that's what so how to find the pain points you know we need that kind of a deep insight of that uh, client so we use uh, you know system like chat gpt you mm -hmm. know we have we get a lot of insight about them so that you know my client you know the business owner who i am working with who i am coaching so they can understand their clients 
pain points, you know, very deeply. And okay. so that they can position their solution according to that. Actually, recognizing a pain point is one of the crucial correct, thing correct, in correct, business. Correct. So correct. using technology, hmm. it is really something uh, amazing. Makes right? really you know, easy. It is very hmm. effective. So you will get a very deep insight about a, uh, their client's problem. Uh, okay. You know, it is not just one level, two hmm. level, three level. You can go deep inside them okay. and see how they can position their solution hmm. according to that, right? So that is really helpful. That is really something helpful. It is completely data driven. How, mm. What are their, uh, you know, the clients, uh, uh, you know, habits or interest, mm. you know, which mm. channels they go to, you know, how they get this mentorship, you know, what are the things they look for. A okay. lot of things will get insight. Okay, okay. So then my, my uh, business owners who I'm working with, they can get that kind of a deep insight. Okay. So that they will be in much better position to uh, provide a solution to them connect with the most importantly connect with them Correct. at that level mm -hmm. provide that comfort you know provide that uh, entire solution Correct. according to what they need exactly yeah. what they need business Not is all about connection and trust Correct. between Correct. each other there. so yes. it's a long standing uh, relationship that's Correct. what they can build you know when you know exactly what is the problem at that level mm -hmm. so that's how technology mm -hmm. and another thing is as i told you earlier the journey deep within right mm -hmm. that is a powerful thing you know uh, we use a lot of subconscious mind techniques. Yeah, my okay. next question was about that. Right. How does mindset play important role yes. in uh, improving your business? Definitely. Mindset mm -hmm. plays a very important role, uh, you know, in uh, improving anything. I mean, mm -hmm. see, it's not only for business owners, Correct. even for a normal person. Mm -hmm. How you connect to the world, right? How uh, easily you can connect to the world. You know, when you, when you have a very good uh, uh, mindset, a blueprint inside you, mm -hmm. Uh, you connect very positively. You can connect with them with the authenticity. Mm. So I'll tell you, see uh, how it works actually. See, like we always normally look at uh, the result. Okay, mm. how, how is the result? How is the revenue they are generating? And behind that, we we'll look at one level, which is action. Correct. Okay, you are doing an action, you are getting a result. But beyond that also, there are a lot of points actually. Mm. See, if you want to do action, right, if you want to take an action, you want that emotion, that feeling of, you know, uh, achieving something, correct? Mm. You need that emotion. Correct, sir. And beyond that, there is a thought process required. You need a positive thought. Mm. You need that thought, uh, you know, which uh, which provides that emotion, correct? Which stands and as a pillar for that. And behind that, there is something called your mindset, correct. you know, which is a blueprint inside mm. your mind, mm. which decides everything. Mm. Like you, you, you feel that, okay, you can do it mm. or you cannot do it. Everything is something which is driven by your mindset. So, uh, working on the mindset is a very important aspect in normal life also and especially in business. It is something which is required. So, when you have a very positive mindset, what happens? Your connection with the uh, you know, clients will be very positive. It will be really and they will like to come to you actually. Mm -hmm. They will feel that you are very authentic. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are the one to solve my problem. They will come again and again. Mm -hmm. So, it is a long standing relation. So, we work deep within mm -hmm. as well as you know on the business right you know like as i mentioned the sales marketing, marketing. how to make it effective mm -hmm. but this mindset plays a big role in there also Correct, like sir. how well you connect with them mm -hmm. after you get them how well you uh, build Correct. a rapport it's not with easy them. to bring them but again to right. sustain with right, them and right, take right. it ahead further is correct, more important. Correct, correct. Correct. so this yeah. flow is very important i feel actually like you know uh, mindset decides uh, a lot of things you know your results ultimately is decided at your mindset you know the blueprint inside your uh, mind, uh, mind. Uh, that mm. plays a big role actually what we think here comes out here <laughs> yeah to add to that <laughs> see uh, normally what happens the blueprint i am telling right mm. see uh, in your in our childhood uh, time right mm. what happens is that a lot of people our environment our parents our uh, relatives people around you know they make a lot of influence in our mindset. Correct. So a lot of people would have told actually, like it is very difficult to make money. You have to struggle to, uh, you know, uh, be successful or uh, yeah, see our talent is only this much. God mm. has given only this much. This is our life. You know, a lot of things you would have uh, heard as a kid. And, and uh, actually what happened without you knowing, it is mm. all going to your uh, subconscious, subconscious mind. mind. A lot of, uh, you know, this blueprint is all, always there. Mm. So you won't be uh, knowing now that okay you will feel that no, there is no problem with me I am really good, mm. but uh, inside that there is a program already set into your mind. Okay. 
So the results what you get, you know, the, what manifests out uh, will always be depending upon the actual uh, blueprint mm -hmm. inside you. Mm -hmm. So this is what we work actually. In the program, we give a lot of focus on, you know, making it a very positive mindset. Uh, Correcting the mindset is correct, important. Correct, correct, correct. Mm -hmm. we, we actually take the cli client from a, a, you know, fixed mindset to a growth mindset in this okay. process. So okay. that is a very important process we do. So in one of your webinars which I attended recently, you have told about connecting with life purpose and uh, some techniques to do that. Can you elaborate on that, sir? Yes. Yes, life purpose is a very important concept, basically uh, connecting with life purpose. It's such a, uh, you know, important step in our uh, actual life, uh, not only for a business owner, I'm telling for everybody. Generally. Uh, because we come to this earth with a very unique life purpose. Mm -hmm. we, we are very unique in that way, like, you know, we have an important role to play uh, in this uh, life. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that is something uh, which we need to, uh, you know, spend some time to understand that actually. Uh, meaning you need a kind of me time every day mm -hmm. to understand where is our journey, uh, you know, how is my connection with the ultimate, uh, you know, uh, force basically, God or whatever you're telling or the universe, you know, how is that connection, how is your uh, uh, progress in that, you know, that way, how, how, what are you doing right now or, um, you know, thinking about what is your talent, skills. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, these are different ways of connecting with Correct. purpose, I'm telling. Mm. And uh, also understanding what is our real creativity. Are we good in public speaking or, you know, are you good in, uh, you know, something like uh, Painting, uh, coaching dancing. or something like that. Mm. Yeah, create our creativity. Or uh, we can also think how we are doing with the world, like how is our relation with the world, like how good we are connecting with people mm. or is it something you have a different view on that. How can someone identify their life purpose, sir? Yeah, so these are different techniques mm -hmm. I'm telling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, connecting with our values, our beliefs. Like, you know, we feel that, okay, I want to do this. And sometimes some people will feel that, no, I'm not uh, connecting with that, right? Mm -hmm. So that is values, you know, that is something uh, deep inside us. Mm -hmm. So you need to assess all these things, you know, uh, with some time. Like, you know, every day, some 15 mm -hmm. to 30 minutes, if you... Uh, Dedicate spend, time uh, spend for yourself, yourself mm -hmm. and see all this, uh, whether what is the answers mm -hmm. for all this uh, thing which I am talking about. Correct. It's a, uh, it's a journey towards life purpose. Mm -hmm. But in my program, I have different uh, techniques. I have some test, okay, okay. A detailed test which will mm -hmm. uh, get a deep insight of yours actually. Mm -hmm. Like meaning, um, you know, you, you, we what know exactly yeah, are what you? are the strength, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what are your weakness. Uh, what are you, what are you connecting to, what are your values, what are your beliefs, you know, uh, what are your talent, skill, everything. I mean, it will come out of in that test. Mm. There are a couple of tests actually. Okay. Ikiga is one of them and okay. there is another uh, way of doing test at a detailed level. Mm. That gives kind of a direction to you, really. And I also use some numerological, uh, you know, uh, analysis also of okay. that person, you know. Mm what they are good at, you know, basically, mm -hmm. it will give an insight. Okay. So these are different techniques. And I have some meditative process which mm -hmm. I take the client through. So when any client comes to my program, right, this is the first thing I do with them actually, mm -hmm. especially in the one-to-one -one program which mm -hmm. I have. Um, I actually spend some time with them to connect them, uh, make them understand what mm -hmm. is their life purpose. And if they are doing a business, right, how to align that business to that life purpose so mm -hmm. that you become very authentic for the Correct. client you will feel that comfort you know that mm -hmm. this is the person mm -hmm. uh, who is going to give me a solution Correct. Right? because uh, finding life purpose is very important correct it is it gives a direction to your uh, entire process Correct. like where your energy need to be put mm -hmm. uh, you know it gives a complete direction Correct. and it is a it will give an unending motivation and passion uh, to the business you are doing actually mm -hmm. like even if you get stuck in between mm -hmm. uh, in the business right some challenges comes okay. you will def definitely find a way yourself because mm -hmm. it is connected to your life purpose it is something you are living for right correct so okay. that aspect will come into this so yeah. connecting with the life purpose is something which we uh, focus quite uh, deeply uh, in our program correct sir we discussed few trendy techniques sir because it was very new you telling AI I have heard using in the field of uh, technology, engineering, but we can use it in business also. I was like a little astonished to hear that and uh, yeah, it's it's a very good uh, thought of you to bring that into your program, sir. Really, yes. So let's move into the next segment, sir. Sir, please choose the next segment, sir. Okay. <laughs>
Okay. Mit so Facts. So in this segment, my first question to you is, how a gratitude journal can actually rewire your brain to manifest them into reality? Is it a myth or a fact, sir? It's a fact. It's definitely it's happening. Fact. Okay. So gratitude is one of the uh, subconscious mind technique. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's a powerful technique. So gr- gratitude is basically uh, being grateful about what you are now. Actually, mm-hmm. okay. It is not after doing something and all. You see, currently. Mm-hmm. what are the good things right mm-hmm. see on a given day like uh, when you start the day right there are so many uh, small small things will happen small uh, good things right small or big it mm-hmm. can happen mm-hmm. we don't acknowledge we feel that okay it is uh, by a normal uh, it's thing it's a normal thing right uh, but if you acknowledge it see if you are grateful about all these things you know every day you can do a journal uh, you know you can write what are the things happened in your life which is positive mm-hmm. and see when you are doing this pro- pro- process what happens is that Uh, when you are gr- grateful about things you have right now correct uh, that is a positive things in your okay it will create you a very positive uh, you know uh, emotions in you that is one thing secondly you will get more and more opportunity to be grateful so mm-hmm. that is some universal law actually you know okay. when you are grateful about what you have right now you will ha- give, have more opportunities to mm-hmm. be grateful mm-hmm. so that is a powerful process and if you look at many successful people they are very grateful not because they are successful when from the beginning only they are having that uh, you know that uh, habit mm. of being grateful about what they have at any point of time you know being grateful you, you see any um, successful person whether it is um, uh, mukesh ambani or uh, you know anand mahindra or any 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 person mm. uh, or uh, ms dhoni or uh, sachin tendulkar you just see their interviews you know they will be very grateful about what uh, they have correct it's correct. not because after getting success okay mm-hmm. it is from the beginning that naturally just being uh, correct. grateful correct. for whatever we have yeah so at the end of the day you mm-hmm. write everything it's a journal process right mm-hmm. you are talking correct. about correct. so correct. that is a very powerful way of you know connecting with your subconscious mm-hmm. and uh, being grateful mm-hmm. as i told it will create a lot of positive vibe in your subconscious mind and also it will give you more opportunity to be grateful you know every day you write this and see mm-hmm. uh, you will get something new actually okay. you know uh, to write mm-hmm. so that's a absolutely powerful process powerful which process. will work mm-hmm. and it's a fact which works yes. yes yeah definitely yeah okay sir so can we rewire our subconscious mind by repeating positive affirmations daily sir yes so to talk about subconscious mind right mm-hmm. we have two uh, two uh, different parts of mind okay you, like uh, there is a conscious mind which is a logical mind mm-hmm. okay we think and talk see right now we are using conscious mind i am talking to you you are listening to me correct i am thinking and uh, talking mm-hmm. you are also uh, pers- i mean receiving it you are also thinking whether it is uh, really uh, the good one which i am looking at right correct sir. so that's our thinking mind mm-hmm. which is a complete logical mind it is 10% of our total mind capacity mm-hmm. okay conscious mind then there is a uh, bigger part of mind. it you know 90% of our mind you know which is subconscious mind mm-hmm. we uh, without our uh, awareness it works a lot for us actually mm-hmm. like our uh, you know physical uh, whatever uh, function it is happening right our heart beating mm-hmm. our uh, liver functioning our organs all organs functioning our blood flow mm-hmm. everything is controlled by that part of mind actually mm-hmm. which is subconscious mind which is a very subjective mind mm-hmm. it doesn't think Uh, and it is operating everything yeah. and um, see if you look at when you are going to the bed right when you are about to sleep your conscious mind is not working it is not thinking okay Correct. and uh, then subconscious takes over completely mm. so all your uh, things are taken over by subconscious mind okay that, so that's a very powerful mind the uh, beauty of that subconscious mind is it is su- completely a subjective mind mm-hmm. you can uh, tell anything to it it will accept it mm-hmm. it is like a normal pen drive you have right you are <laughs> storing it. some file to mm-hmm. that it won't think whether it is a virus file or, or it a, is a corrupted correct. file or it's a good file correct, correct. it just store it mm-hmm. uh, exactly so the same so by repeating way. affirmations uh, yeah. even our mind will think this is what i correct. have to correct this is exactly mm-hmm. true if it say if you say that i am a money magnet correct. you know it will think that you mm. have that power of, mm. you know you are a magnet itself mm. uh, so you can put a lot of powerful mm. affirmation to you mm. and uh, over a period of time it will definitely uh, you know become a reality but this should be done consistently right sir consistently yeah. consistency is very important yeah. in, in this process in all the subconscious techniques because some people start right. they don't find anything they are like i am telling this i didn't get money for example yeah 
So that's what consistency is very important. Correct, correct. It is a consistency yeah. which is important in Anything. everywhere, correct. everywhere, right? Correct, sir. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So, how powerful is visualization? Yeah, because visualization, people tell whatever you visualize will definitely happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Visualization is another very powerful technique. I think you know, in my website, I had see, I had put some of the videos of people mm -hmm. talking about how wonderful visualization Correct. is working for them. Correct. Uh, for example, Virat Kohli is yeah. one powerful video. I mm -hmm. think in my webinars and all, mm -hmm. I show that to people actually. So, what uh, Virat Kohli was talking about in that is. See, before any uh, international very tough tour, right, like South Africa, Australia and all are very tough tours for them, okay, because their conditions are different, Correct. bowlers are very, uh, you know, uh, tough bowlers. They have their own. So, he experience. actually visualized, you know, some three months back, he visualized everything in his mind that mm. he's taking on their best bowler mm. and he's actually making shots very easily. He's, uh, you know, uh, putting pressure back to the bowler. He's, uh, oh, he's actually dominating mm. completely. He will visualize it. Mm. And uh, when he's, uh, you know, when he's in the gym, when he's uh, listening to music, all the time he will be visualizing. visualizing. So it becomes so much of a reality when he goes there, uh, he's able to, you know, get, a, I mean, take that uh, energy from his mind and mm. he, he play the same kind of shots there actually. Mm, mm, mm. And he's dominating there also. So there's nothing like you have to sit in the morning, visualize, so you can do it whenever you want to. See, especially uh, when you are going to bed, that's the mm -hmm. time you can talk to your subconscious mind uh, oh, closely. Okay. Okay. And when you are getting up in the morning, mm -hmm. I mean some 15 minutes time, that mm -hmm. is also a time where you can connect with your uh, subconscious mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. In reality also, see, mm -hmm. uh, you become aware, you know, once mm -hmm. you get up, after some time only you will become really Correct. conscious, uh, this one. Even Correct. when you are going to bed in the night, uh, after some time you will, uh, when you are about to sleep, uh, your conscious mind is coming down. Correct. So those are the time you can mm -hmm. connect with your subconscious mind uh, very mm -hmm. effectively. Mm -hmm. Right, so the consistency is a really uh, an important Key for thing. it. Sir, so then we have one more interesting question. The subconscious mind practices whatever we have discussed now, be it gratitude or affirmations or manifestation, does it only work to spiritual people, sir? Absolutely. Nothing like that. Nothing See, like that. this is yeah. a practice which anybody can do, any okay. person, any normal person. Mm -hmm. See, as I told earlier itself, right, mm -hmm. we all have a unique place. Uh, okay. You know, why you, you feel that we are normal person, they, they mm -hmm. are different. See, we, are, we all have that potential inside, mm -hmm. deep inside us. There is a big power Correct. of a subconscious mind and it, you can, uh, all of us can access. Basically, that. we have to tap it. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And it is not very difficult process actually, mm -hmm. this very simple technique, gratitude, mm -hmm. affirmation, mm -hmm. visualization. Mm -hmm. And there is a technique called hypnosis also, which can, mm -hmm. you can program directly your subconscious mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. When you are sleeping, you can listen to those kind of audios. Okay. It will also take you to that, uh, you know, that positive uh, mm -hmm. vibe. Mm -hmm. So this is something I think everybody should work mm -hmm. so that they get into their real potential. Mm -hmm. uh, the kind of purpose they came, came in with, for. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so you can connect to that level yes, when you are practicing yes. this. Mm -hmm. This is for everybody. Yeah. I would say. <laughs> what do you teach in your transformative business coaching, sir? Okay. So transformative business growth coaching is uh, as the name indicate, right? Mm -hmm. It's a transformation plus business growth coaching. So we work, uh, you know, deep within, mm -hmm. within our, uh, you know, within ourselves, right? That is one part. A mindset shifting is something which we work on uh, using the power of subconscious mind. Okay, and uh, then we also get into their uh, business, like you know, their uh, important verticals of marketing and sales, and m uh, how to do it in a hypnotic way, uh, with the, uh, to connect with the pain points of the client, mm -hmm. their client, right? That is something which we do in transformative uh, business, business growth coaching. coaching. And uh, another important thing, as I told earlier, is uh, connecting with the purpose. Mm. Initially, when they come to my program, what I do is I connect with them with the ultimate life purpose and try to align their business with that life purpose. Okay. Or if it is an aspiring, uh, you know, uh, entrepreneur, mm. uh, we actually work with them same way, uh, like we connect with them, their life purpose, and we suggest a niche, business mm. niche. And based on all the tests and all I was telling, I suggest them the business niche and mm -hmm. uh, make them work on their subconscious mind and then uh, give, uh, that business niche will uh, help them to develop how to market it, how to position it to according to the pain points of the clients they are uh, targeting mm -hmm. 
and um, you know hypnotically how we can uh, work with them hypnotically how can we connect how can we see marketing is something which we uh, announce ourselves that you know we have a solution for mm -hmm. your pain point right mm -hmm. that is the process of marketing, marketing. Uh, people get confused marketing mm -hmm. and sales is something same or something mm -hmm. no it's not same it's not same correct. it is a bit different mm -hmm. so there uh, we actually announce that we have a solution for your pain point and we announce correct. that correct in a digital digital marketing is a very powerful thing digital mm -hmm. you know um, digitalization right it is such a powerful thing you can reach out to any part of the world correct. you know from here correct. right earlier in our uh, earlier times and all t uh, you know we had newspaper ad yes. or you know we had a different mechanism tv ad came radios but uh, current yeah. trend is the social uh, media marketing you know correct. the digital marketing mm. so how to make it uh, hypnotically mm. uh, you know at that level connecting with the client is such mm. a powerful thing correct sir. right that we will uh, teach them mm. and uh, how to do the selling after you get the client how to uh, you know sell your solution Mm. Correct. Uh, that is another part, you know, subconscious way how we can connect with them, mm. uh, make a good rapport with them. Uh, see, basically, in that process in selling, in subconscious selling, what we do is we make clients talk more actually about what is the pain point, how is it impacting their life. You know, we should understand everything from them. Okay. And uh, see, we may have different uh, expertise. Mm. Okay, we cannot offer everything mm. together. See, they may be ask, asking for one particular solution and we provide that solution. So, we wanted to be a good listener there. Correct. Okay. These are the things we, um, you know, coach them. Mm -hmm. We actually train my clients, uh, you know, um, based on all the strategy. Mm -hmm. And these strategies are based on technology, you know, artificial intelligence. I'm telling, chat GPT, something which we use quite uh, deeply to understand uh, the pain points of the client. Mm -hmm connect with them at that level, you know, even just digital marketing and all is complete hypnotic digital marketing we mm -hmm. do. And selling also, very deep level of connection. We don't want to sell and close, uh, complete that process, Correct. right? We want them to, it's a, it is opening, is it is not a closing, it Correct. is actually like opening a big uh, uh, relationship with them. Correct. So they will come again mm -hmm. because they know you are authentic. Mm -hmm. uh, because you are a purpose person, right? Mm. You are authentic. They will again come. Mm. So these are all the things we cover actually mm. in our program. We also take them from a fixed mindset aspect to a growth mindset. Mm. We take them. Uh, we take the client to that uh, growth mindset. Because mindset shifting is also very important. Correct, correct. Mm. So all of these things are covered in our program, okay. and we have different levels of program also. Mm. You know. Um, so initially, uh, we have a digital program, okay, digital mm. course. Uh, the, it's a called a silver program. Okay. What I have, okay. uh, mindset. You know, it's a business growth mindset blueprint. Mm. It's a silver program. I mean, it's a digital program which I have. Okay. And um, you know, people uh, uh, subscribe to that particular program will get a digital courses. Some mm. twenty-three uh, different chapters are there. Uh, you know, connecting all these things, life mm. purpose. And um, you know this subconscious mind techniques, how mm. to uh, you know tap the potential. I had given all the meditations, and uh, you know methods, yeah, methods, and, okay. and uh, how to do you know business in that way. Mm. You know whatever I discussed, I have covered all those things, and I am giving some powerful uh, bonus also in that mm. you know money manifestation meditation, mm. chakra meditation. Mm. So so this is one part of it. This is a silver program. Mm. Uh, and uh, second thing is, um, you know, uh, intensive workshop for two days actually. Mm. So in the, that is completely focused on uh, giving a uh, lot of tools and techniques to the people. To uh, we'll make them equipped okay. to uh, do their uh, business at a next level. Mm. Or if they want to do a coaching, we'll make them, uh, you know, completely equipped with mm. all the system tools, everything. Mm -hmm. It's a two days intensive workshop. Okay. And then the third program is uh, a kind of a year one-to-one -one hand holding. You know, that we work on all this aspect, mm -hmm. purpose, your uh, um, mindset shifting, mm -hmm. everything. And then business, you know, this uh, hypnotic digital marketing, mm -hmm. everything. We work them closely, understanding their challenges, mm -hmm. very closely with them on a one-to-one -one way. Mm -hmm. uh, because everybody, everybody have a different, has different challenge. Correct. So we work mm -hmm. with them. Okay. Over a period of, uh, you know, see in three months time, definitely mm. they will see a uh, change. change in their mm. business as well as their, their mindset, everything, they will definitely see the result. Mm -hmm. But we will handhold them. 
for mm -hmm. an year actually. Mm -hmm. So this one year program. Okay. So one is a silver program, digital course. Second is a gold program, which mm -hmm. is called, which is that intensive, intensive workshop workshops. for two days. Mm -hmm. And this is a called a diamond program, okay. which is a uh, one to one, uh, you know, coaching. So basically, uh, easy way, a smooth, uh, easy way to run the business smoothly. Correct, correct, correct. And this is a different perspective to take it ahead because, as yes. you told earlier, people just copy someone's idea which is running successfully. Correct. But that does not work for everyone. Correct. Their strategies might be different. Correct. So, because so you know, things. even the life purpose is different yeah. for each of the person. Correct. See, and also people won't see. Mm. Um, they will start something with the skill they have. Mm. They don't see. Okay, there is a demand in the world, right? That Correct. is also an important parameter mm -hmm. uh, for this idea. There should be a demand, demand. also. Uh, there should be a pain point which Correct. we are uh, um, solving. Correct. Mm -hmm. That also is an important thing. And many times what happens, uh, people just copy some idea from mm -hmm. others and mm -hmm. see that, okay, they are very, they are successful. very successful, why can't, why, we why be? can't I? Mm -hmm. But you are very different, you are a very unique person. Correct, correct. Sir. correct. Yeah, so your passion, your skill, mm -hmm. um, uh, what you love, everything is important. Mm -hmm. And there should be a uh, match of everything. Mm -hmm. That is when a business works. So aligning all this and combining all this is basically transformative business growth. Correct. Now. So we yeah. guide them, we mentor them. Mm -hmm on all this aspect and see what where is the real potential uh, to uh, work on a business Correct, right sir. so we will channelize them properly yeah. uh, in our yeah. program yeah. so that is uh, transformative business growth coaching yes. see so far i have been uh, really happy to tell that you know mm -hmm. i have been able to connect with the people uh, in middle east mm -hmm. uh, in south africa mm -hmm. in the us and all some clients already working with me mm -hmm. on this one to one uh, coaching especially mm -hmm. they because they have different challenges, Correct, they want sir. a solution uh, tailored for them, right? Mm -hmm. So they work on that. Uh, it's a, it's like a high ticket pro program for me. Okay. Um, so that's what they have uh, subscribed to. Mm -hmm. How can people get in touch with you, sir? So we will mention those details in the description. So right. interested people can just go click the link or get right, in touch right. with you. Yeah, there are different ways. Mm -hmm. One is that I take uh, some webinars and all, right? Webinars okay. to connect with people. I okay. definitely do that. Mm -hmm. And then um, definitely our social media uh, yeah. is all active, uh, you know. So there is a basically a link tree. Mm. Uh, we can, uh, you know, give it in this. So we have all the channels mentioned in that okay. particular, uh, you know, yeah. tree. So that uh, they can explore, they can understand, uh, you know, our uh, programs, yes. you know, what are the things we are offering. Mm. Right. So definitely we'll mention that in the description. So it'll be easy correct. for uh, people interested to get in touch with you correct, and start correct. their journey with you. Correct, correct. Yes, sir. Definitely. I want to work with uh, business owners, mm -hmm. CEOs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, to take this program at a you know high level. Definitely, I'm correct, you know uh, in that process right now. The, I know you are an award-winning author. I want to congratulate you on that, sir. Thank you. And, uh, can you please share us your uh, story about? the book that you had written and more details about it sir. Sure, sure. So uh, authoring is another passion I have, you know, it's a way to express myself, right, mm -hmm. my skills, my experience with the people and uh, it has been a great journey for me, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I started uh, writing my first book in 2023, okay, okay? and uh, that book was Rise Up to Your Purpose, which mm -hmm. is uh, again an important concept, I was keep on telling that, right. Purpose Correct. is such an important thing. Life so how purpose. can somebody connect with the purpose? Mm -hmm. You know, that is the real content of that book. Okay. So, but I got a lot of appreciation around the world, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, Europe or US, you know, my friends and all, they called me like, you know, this is a great book, uh, you know. And I, it was an Amazon bestseller. Mm -hmm. And also, I got an award from a publication called Adin Publication. As one of the top 50 book in, uh, you know, they, uh, they selected basically. Got an award for that. So, Rise Up To Your Purpose was an important uh, book I wrote. So, th that was in my mind. Those concepts were in my mind for a long time. So, uh, I used to connect with my friends and all. I talk about it. But, uh, see, when it came as a book, mm. it reached a very big audience. Mm. You know, globally, it uh, got a lot of recognition. So, that is something which I really uh, enjoyed it. Mm. And then uh, I was also a, a co-author for one of the book called uh, uh, You Can Impact, Magic okay. of Metamorphosis. So I, I wrote a chapter in that about one of my, uh, one of the episode in my life actually. Okay. Uh, how did I come out of a challenge? Uh, mm -hmm. How did I sort out that challenge? So that book is that, you know, with a, 
very good author in India, Dr. Gopika Kumar. Okay. So, and along with so many other authors, so mm -hmm. that is a co-authoring venture actually. Okay. And then uh, recently I have written a book, uh, which is again from my bottom of my heart, mm -hmm. to help others. Uh, it is actually named She is the Fearless Founder. Okay. So, uh, this particular book, right, it has got insight of, you know, how to start a business, how we can kind of get the ideas, how can we connect the, uh, you know, the purpose with that, how can you uh, tap to the subconscious potential. Mm -hmm. There are different uh, other uh, topics like who not how concept, when you're doing a business, uh, instead of uh, thinking of doing everything yourself, you know, we can, you know, use some experts from others, right? I mean, some expert, you can involve exper expertise, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you can delegate a few things to others and uh, how still you can manage that particular business mm -hmm. well. So this book is something uh, which I really am proud about actually. She and uh, like I founder. told about this, um, you know, this uh, transformative business growth coaching. So all the uh, information is there in this book actually. Everything is covered, mm -hmm. uh, whatever I am coaching. Uh, so this book has got that. And so I gave it, give it as a guidance, mm -hmm. you know, to people, as a guide to people who is uh, joining my program actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is something uh, which I'm really uh, proud about actually. This book has come out well. Uh, again, uh, it has been uh, talked about uh, quite well actually. Uh, but okay. this is a business book. Mm -hmm. It is not a book you can read and uh, you know uh, uh, remember, but mm -hmm. it's a guide actually. Mm -hmm. It's like a powerful guide business I would guide. say. Guide. Correct. Yeah. It has got um, you know a lot of insight and some inspirational stories of mm -hmm. uh, wonderful women. How did they uh, come out of the challenges? Mm -hmm. uh, it has got quite a lot of things. You know what yeah. what is required. So this is something I really, uh, you know, uh, I'm proud about actually the, <laughs> yes. in my authoring journey. Mm -hmm. right. Where can people get this? Is it available on Amazon? It is sir? available in Amazon. Oh, All okay. my books are available in Amazon. Amazon. Rise Up to Your Purpose. Okay. As I told you, it's an Amazon mm -hmm. bestseller itself. Mm -hmm. It is, both are available in Amazon. Okay. Also, uh, if somebody comes to my website, mm -hmm. definitely there are uh, different ways of, uh, you know, uh, getting, getting this, this copy books. of this book okay. actually. Yes. Okay. So probably, uh, you know, that uh, it will be in the description, mm. you can, we can give that. Yes, uh, sir, we can give the, give the details. Too. Correct. So you being an author, which books do you suggest people to read, sir? Sure, there are so many books actually, mm. wonderful books, uh, people uh, definitely, I recommend them to read at least some of the books, okay. Mm. Uh, one of them is uh, named Atomic Habits, really. This is a very powerful book, very simple, mm. but very powerful. Uh, any entrepreneur uh, or any business owner, any they, they definitely should read this book actually. Even normal uh, people, people who are working in uh, different uh, corporate world also. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very, very good book actually. Mm -hmm. It is uh, talking about, you know, importance of having habits. Mm -hmm. How we can really uh, make them a permanent thing in your uh, life. Mm -hmm. How can you make a routine mm -hmm. and... Uh, um, you know, different techniques actually, how to uh, maintain that habits with the passion. Mm. The, there are different techniques here in this particular mm. book. Uh, this uh, particular book uh, talk about one story which I really liked about, uh, you know, uh, a person in uh, Hungary mm. named Lasio Polgar. Okay. He and his wife, uh, always th they were thinking about their daughters. Mm. They, they have uh, three daughters actually. And they are normal, uh, you know, uh, normal kids, people. okay, mm -hmm. and uh, they go to school, they are okay in mm -hmm. school and all. So they were th thinking about them and uh, they want to make them a genius, you know, with some focused coaching. They, mm -hmm. they had that concept that, you know, if you give an intense coaching to them over a period of time, we can make them genius, these uh, kids actually. So they uh, were think about different ideas and they find just see something mm -hmm. which, you know, we can try. So they uh, teach these kids chess actually, they give some coaching to these kids on chess. Initially uh, kids were not liking it, but uh, over a period of time, uh, they, but his dream was very big. I mean, Lassio Polgar's dream was very big to make them genius, right? Mm. So he actually uh, gave them, uh, you know, coaching very closely. Mm. And over a period of time, these uh, girls also started liking that, uh, you know, mm. chess. And uh, they started training for uh, one hour, two hour, three hours. And um, again, up to six hours, they started training on a day. day. 
and uh, for the school how to manage the study they are also students right so last year polgar because his dream was so high mm -hmm. he went to the school uh, in hungary uh, you know requesting them to you know the kids will learn from uh, home itself mm -hmm. and then exams they will write properly uh, so that uh, promise he gave mm -hmm. so he so that he can spend a lot of time in chess you know mm -hmm. six hours here six hours studies okay that way and over a period of time this girl started you know susan sofia and uh, judith these are the girls actually and susan started uh, beating players around uh, you know in that uh, province mm -hmm. in the state and all and then she became to uh, she goes on to become a in international grandmaster okay, okay? Mm -hmm. a grandmaster is a uh, you know a position, position at highest, the highest position, position in chess correct and then uh, sofia the second mm -hmm. one also went ahead and she became an international master and a grandmaster again mm -hmm. and the third is uh, judith mm -hmm. judith polgar is a name uh, any chess player i mean any person who knows chess will know up, actually mm -hmm. right judith polgar was um, not only a grandmaster she became a world number one woman chess player mm -hmm. for a, a long 23 years mm -hmm. until she retired she was the number one in the world mm -hmm. so this uh, book is talking about such a lot of stories but this story was a striking me a lot a small good habit which Correct. leads to success yeah yeah mm -hmm. the, uh, basically that story has a dream right mm -hmm. the power of dreaming and uh, the power of habits mm -hmm. those two things are really covered there actually Correct, a sir. wonderful book to read actually yeah. So another book I definitely recommend is uh, from Esther and Jerry Hicks. This is Ask and It's Given. Another beautiful book actually. Mm -hmm. It uh, gives a lot of insight on life, uh, about the mm -hmm. purpose, a uh, lot of things in this in this particular book. It's a very good read. Yeah. Uh, again, a very simple language, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's a Impactful lot of concept book. we need to take actually mm -hmm. in our life. Mm -hmm. and uh, this is another book think and grow rich by napoleon hill um, this is another absolutely wonderful book you know it talks about mindset like uh, if you work on mindset what wonders it can do uh, in your life you know a lot of things a lot of great concept in this particular book is another book and finally we talked about subconscious mind a lot and this correct. is the this is the real bible of that actually you know from joseph murphy mm -hmm. the power of subconscious mind this is another beautiful book you know so anybody can read mm -hmm. how to tap to the power of subconscious mind and how can you uh, you know get to your real potential mm -hmm. uh, which you came in with yeah. so these are the books i definitely recommend mm -hmm. anybody to read mm -hmm. and uh, these are not very complex book it is simple mm -hmm. uh, and engaging books actually mm -hmm. you can read through correct sir uh, thank you so much for sharing all your insights sir and uh, i want to ask you can you share a mic drop moment in your journey sir very satisfactory work or the work that made you very happy oh okay so basically uh, the transformative business growth coaching i was talking about you know the happiest thing is that i'm getting absolutely good feedback from the clients who is working with me uh, which is definitely the biggest award i can yes. get right so how it is uh, you know impacting them in a positive way mm. how they are transforming Uh, how they are able to handle uh, clients in a better way i mean these are the feedback uh, which is very important for me correct uh, in my journey right so that is something which i am really happy about mm. and in corporate world in it field i have always been uh, getting lot of accolades you know in mm -hmm. that way like for the work which i am doing connecting with people mm. how i am motivating people mm. you know that is something i i am always uh, you know uh, passionate yeah, about yeah passionate about mm -hmm. and um, uh, if i look at you know my authoring journey correct uh, that is another side of me uh, so basically as i told mm -hmm. uh, my first book rise up to your purpose mm -hmm. uh, that got a lot of uh, you know um, appreciation mm -hmm. and one of them is from uh, you know a publication a leading publication in india adyan mm -hmm. books actually mm -hmm. so uh, this is this one is of the award, award which i huh. got from them you know as a super power author award actually mm -hmm. this is something which i am i uh, really proud about <laughs> okay yeah and uh, in my coaching journey mm -hmm. uh, okay like uh, see i am also taking coaching from different uh, wonderful people okay, okay. international uh, like uh, tony robbins mm -hmm. and um, you know coaches like in india also mm -hmm. top coaches uh, magna dikshit um, 
Dr. Siddharth Rajasekhar, uh, Dr. Gopalakrishnan, a lot of people actually. And I'm taking coaching from Dr. Vibhind Raj also right now on business growth, you know, how, how to do business coaching. You know, that is something which I'm, uh, you know, uh, learning from him also. Mm -hmm. So it's a process which I'm doing. Okay. And uh, it's been re really rewarding. And uh, so uh, from Dr. Vibhind Sir's, uh, you know, program, I got an award actually. Uh, this is a Hall of Fame award I got, you know, okay. for the contribution I'm uh, mm -hmm. doing in this, uh, field. this field, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, these are the things, uh, you know, I've been very fortunate to be, you know, yes. part of. It makes uh, proud. <laughs> right, right, yes, right. Yeah. Yes, and it's an uh, encouragement for you to do more. Correct, definitely, yes. definitely. See, these yes. are some milestones which mm -hmm. will take you to uh, the next level, right? Correct. Sir. It is not Correct. the end of anything, but yeah. uh, definitely it is an acknowledgement you mm -hmm. are going in the right direction, right? True. So that is something which I am happy about. Yeah. So far, it has been uh, good for me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your mic drop moment with us, sir. Sir, thank you so much for giving your time to us and uh, sharing your insights, sharing your views, and suggesting good books for people. And it's a pleasure. It's yes, a pleasure. sir. <laughs> As a token of gratitude, so I would like to give you this from our wow. art partner, Doodle Alley. <laughs> Always keep smiling and keep inspiring people as Thank you, you do, sir. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah. This is really amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm touched. People who are viewing, anybody, if they need their own customized art like this, they can definitely DM to Doodle Alley on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank yes, you so sir. much for this. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on to the show, sir. Thank you. Yeah. It was definitely a great experience interacting with you. Thank it's a you, pleasure. Sir. Signing off from Mic Drop with Mr. Srikanth. For more unscripted, unfiltered and unmissable conversations, please subscribe to Hamsa TV.